Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an intermediate level 3D model with LiDAR data. I'm on the Site Map section. I can move my green pin drop to make sure it's in the correct location. And I can also view and rotate the 45 degree image in the top left corner. Moving into 2D mode, I can begin drawing on top of the map. The main drawing buttons on the right hand side are Draw Roof, Draw Obstruction, and Draw Tree. If I click on Draw Roof, I can start clicking and placing nodes on top of my map where roof edges come together. It's important to use the automatic 90 degree and 180 degree auto snaps that are provided for drawing nice straight lines and nodes. Notice here we have an underlap on the roof edge. I'm going to come up to meet the valley and then go back for the main roof plane. Again, here we have the same situation. We have a lower roof edge underneath these upper two edges. I need to make that a separate line in Aurora and click and place a node back on the other side. If you hold down control, you can override the auto snap feature. Now I'm going to double click from a node to get started again and continue connecting nodes and lines. I can click and drag nodes around to improve the 3D model, making these closer without gaps. I've completed my main house. If I'd like to draw the garage cover, I can do that as a separate structure by clicking on Draw Roof and drawing this entirely separate. Again, I'll zoom in and pull my nodes nice and close to avoid gaps in the 3D model. Notice that you can click on a node and it brings up measurements associated with that node which you can click on and override by typing something in. You can also do the same thing by clicking on edges and overriding the angles. Control Z is an undo feature and right click is delete. Again, to redraw from an existing node, I double click on that node. I've completed my drawing of nodes and lines. I'm now going to click Detect Roof Structure, which will automatically bring in my azimuth arrows. If you need to manually set any arrows or make any adjustments, you can do that by clicking on the yellow dots and or swiveling the arrows in the correct direction. For this flat roof, I'm simply going to turn the arrow to the south direction. I'm going to add some obstructions by clicking on Draw Obstruction and choosing the type, and clicking and dragging on the map. I'm not going to worry about north-facing obstructions on this site. I can also draw in some trees by clicking Draw Tree and simply dragging a circle on the map. Trees and obstructions can be copied and pasted by clicking on them and using Control C, Control V commands as normal. If I want to bring in fire setbacks, I can click on Detect Edge Types. Because I have them predefined in my admin settings, 
for this location. They've come in automatically, but if I want to manually set the fire setbacks, I can simply click the settings button in the top right and type them in manually. Moving into 3D mode and remembering to save any unsaved changes, I can now build the 3D model. It's typical to start by clicking on lift roofs in the top right, which will pop up the structure. Notice that it also applied a pitch to my flat roof section. I can simply click on the roof face and lower the pitch to zero degrees. Notice the main building. If I click on the south facing roof and begin making adjustments, I can edit the roof pitch accordingly. Notice our separated edges as we drew them in 2D here and here. I'm going to click on the obstruction and raise the height of it. As I can see, it's about five feet tall in the 45 degree image. And I can also click on trees and buildings and modify their shape and height as well. We can also access the street view by clicking and dragging down from the top edge of the canvas. Here I can clearly see my building is single story. The roof pitch is four and 12. And I'm going to use this to take a look at my tree and help fine tune the accuracy of the tree height. I can pull the street view in from the left hand side if I prefer a vertical split as well. This is a great way to determine tree heights as well. Double clicking on my split line will scroll the line back to the edge. Lastly, if available, I can download LiDAR for a specific location and bring in a three-dimensional LiDAR layer. The first thing I'd like to do is adjust the offset of my LiDAR to line it up with my 3D model. You can do this in the LiDAR settings using your X and Y offset fields. Clicking on lift roofs when LiDAR is present will allow the building to automatically lift and match the LiDAR itself. I can now use it for further adjustments on large obstructions and trees. We've now completed the 3D model and we're ready to move into design mode and complete our system design. That concludes the video for today. Thanks for watching. Please email us in support at support at aurorasolar.com with any questions. Have a great day.